Right, hi everyone, thank you for watching another video. The Anytone 878, the 868, the 578, they can all be used as digital scanners, even the new 168. And uh, you can set them up in the VFO to search between two limits, so that's what we're going to be covering today in, uh, in digital mode. So there's a few settings you need to do. So I've got it in VFO mode and you can assign presets. So I've got um, P2 set to VFO and manual memory mode. So you have to get it in VFO mode. And you got we're going to use them digital, so we need to use utilize digital monitor features. So uh, if I go to menu, digital monitor, digital monitor switch. So I. You can have it off, that's when you're just using the radio normally. I've got it in double slot, because I don't know what slot they're going to be using. This is not ham radio, this is um, scanning for business stuff. So I'll leave it in both, because I'm not sure what they're using. So digital monitor colour code, I've got it set to any. Digital monitor ID, any. Slot hold. Not sure about this one. I've got it on off and, I, and I've had it working fine as you might see in the clip I played you. So we've got digital monitor on and set as wide open as possible. And now you've got to set up the, uh, the search limits. And in, in this example I was searching between 460 and 462, something like that, 461. And that's in settings, radio set, other, and then down towards the bottom, middle to bottom. You've got VFO scan minimum UHF and VFO scan maximum UHF. And you've got two more below it for VHF. So if you wanted to set up a UHF range, you'd, you'd go in and you set the minimum to, you know, my example, 460.4 and you'd set the other one the maximum to 460.5 you know because I knew the frequency of the the frequency I was trying to uh, demonstrate but you can set them wide as you want so uh, I've shown you that the next thing is um, you've got to set a preset on a button, on, a, on one of these pr programmable buttons to scan, but it's not your normal scan. It doesn't do the same thing as menu and scan. That just keeps on going forever. You've got to set a hotkey. We've got to set a preset to a key. And it's in settings, radio set and key function. And you know, in this example, my PF1 long my PF1 long, I've got it set to program scan. Not scan, there's another one above it for scan, but you need it set as program scan. And uh, the next thing you need to do is, uh, well, if your radio transmits out of band, you know, you might want to consider turning on transmit prohibit. That's in radio set. Um, and you've got to set your step rate as well. So that'll be in menu, settings. And it's in radio set, I think, other. So frequency step, you know, I mean, it depends what band you're on. But I know the bands and the steps in my country and I've got it on 12 and a half. And um, when you're in this mode, VFO and you're ready to go the up and the down button 
go up and down one megahertz at the time. And you, when you're in the when you're scanning, the clicker knob on the top nudges it up or down. So it goes. If you're going up and you nudge it down, it starts going down. And you could, while it's scanning, if you nudge that, if you um, move the clicker knob on the top, you can you can make it go quite a bit quicker than the, than the normal slow searching rate. So um, just going through my notes. Now, when you receive a channel, a digital channel, if you write down the colour code, the frequency, the colour code and the slot, you'll be able to program that in any radio. And you can also save it to a memory in the normal method. And the last setting you need to know about is uh, in settings, radio set and other. And that's called scan mod. That's what happens when it detects a signal. So if you go into scan mod, you've got scan mod TO, that's timed. After a f it picks up a carrier and then it moves on after a few seconds. You've got scan mod CO, which is carrier. When the carrier drops, it moves on. And you've got scan mod search SE, where it it stops searching once it's found a digital signal. And um, that's about it. And um, to activate it, you just hit the preset that you've set to activate the program scan. Long press PF1. And it goes around in a loop from the start frequency to the M frequency. So I've been trying to figure this out for a long time and I've not really had the time. So I've got it working, showed you a clip at the start and um, works a treat, 7-3. Hope that's useful.